The episode contains details and descriptions of crimes and events involving details of injury description that some listeners may find disturbing and or distressing. Discretion is advised while listening. Today's guest is Leticia Francis of Black Rose Coaching. Leticia supports women who are ready to leave their soul-sucking careers by helping find the clarity and confidence needed to build their dream business, embracing a success mindset along the way. She loves talking about and address the fears and limiting beliefs so that we can step into power. Please give a warm welcome to ever-blessed Leticia Francis. After being in law enforcement for a while, I realized that that wasn't really what I wanted out of my life. And I wanted to go to school. And I remember having a conversation with him saying, I want to go to school. And he was like, no, you should have done that before you got married. It's absolutely no way you're leaving me now. That triggered me. I wanted to leave once I saw that he was actually holding me back. And the abuse didn't bother me because I almost felt like I deserved it. But seeing someone who loved me, literally not wanting me to grow was a problem for me. And a friend of mine's called to seek advice. I have painted such a pretty picture about my relationship that people used to come to me for relationship advice. And this person was telling me about being in an abusive relationship with a heroin addict and wanting to know how she can get out of that situation. And of course, the perfect friend that I was in the perfect relationship, I had the perfect advice for her. And I remember picking up a book by Ian Lavenzen called Until Today and randomly opening this book and reading a passage to her that talked about people being in our lives for a reason, a season, and a lifetime. And the reason why a lot of our interpersonal relationships don't work is because we are trying to keep someone who was meant to be there for a reason. We're trying to keep them there for a season and a lifetime, and it's just not going to work out. But the fact that I had resigned myself to being a victim actually was me giving away my power. And my power came from standing in the decisions that I've made, taking ownership for the parts that I've played in anything, right? And I'm not saying that I played a part in my abuse, but being there for such a long period of time, I had to take some ownership for that, right? Yes. Um, my experiences made me a survivor. My healing allowed me to move away from being a survivor to being a driver. I built my, my, my business over the last two years on the premise of really helping women rewrite the narratives and change the stories. Because I believe that if we can heal women, we heal the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing my part with my big personality <laughs> to make that impact. Thank you for listening to Noise Palooza Zion podcast. If you're wanting to share or follow, I am on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, or website jasminecastillovoice.com. Show your love on any of the podcasts that does reviews like Apple or Spotify. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for the next episode every Friday.